Welcome to the One Minute Show. Today, Bradford Manning and I, Brian Manning, will be talking about your favorite topic, happiness. Who doesn't like being happy? Or positive, or joyous, or thrilled, or ecstatic. Two one brothers. A lot of people ask us, when you have a disability, when you have something that is challenging to you, how do you stay upbeat about it? Because one thing we talk about all the time is never letting a physical disability become a psychological disability as well, because that can be more crippling. So we wanted to talk a little bit around how to stay positive throughout your life or through difficult times. You have to understand that life isn't supposed to be positive all the time. And there are things that will absolutely and should challenge your mood and your mental state. I've had friends that have broken up out of long-term relationships or got laid off from a job and there's obviously grieving or coping and dealing, but the minute that they start kind of thinking that maybe there's something wrong with them because of that, that's what you gotta be very careful of. You gotta be very forgiving of yourself to make sure that you're not judging yourself because you're going through that. You just stay as positive as you can regardless. You just say, all right, this is a bad moment. We're just gonna, I'm gonna really pretend and really try and be a little bit happy right now. I will not recognize someone or I will trip on something. And instead of being pissed off and being like, this sucks, I can't see, I'm always like, that was hysterical. I didn't know who that person was. It's getting enjoyment out of it and finding that eh, this is a funny thing it isn't it isn't the end of the world it's, it's easier to that said than done tell a bad dad joke you know make yourself laugh once and then it's a lot easier to get that ball rolling use gratitude think about the things in your life that you're very grateful for i'm always happiest when i am accomplishing something when you work really hard to get something done you feel so good. The hardest moments in your life, the most challenging things you'll ever do, and the happiest you've probably ever been are very close to one another. It's those tough moments that you overcome that really make you feel great because laying in bed and watching Netflix, as fun as it is, it doesn't really move the needle on happiness. The real secret is if you can take control of your own mood and understand and know the little triggers that put you into that mood. I know that if I go to the gym, I'm gonna be in a pretty good mood when I walk out of there. I just- White golden bears, uh, gummy bears, never happier. <laughs> yeah, so they, we have very different things that affect us. <laughs> and there might be things that affect you. A few weeks ago, we were actually going to Charlottesville, Court and I, and I had read the time on the train wrong. So we showed up 20 minutes after the train left. I was furious, I was in such a bad mood, but Court knows one of my triggers. He goes, at least we get to go to the Dunkin' Donuts and get you a nice coffee. It changed the whole time into, okay, we'll find another train and we'll have a good train ride and the whole thing will be fun, rather than what could have been a vacation ruining event. I listen to Here Comes the Hot Stepper <laughs> on repeat. At like four in the morning, the knob turned up to 20. <laughs> Puts me in a great mood. Makes it's my ha trigger. Yeah, I, what if I told you you couldn't go have your Dunkin' Donuts coffee? I'd burn this house down. <laughs> there you go. I don't do that. I just wake you guys up with my song. It's my song. Uh, well, thank you guys for coming in and watching the Two Blind Brothers One Minute Show. It's fantastic. I really enjoyed jumping over Brian. You probably saw him going for it. But that's how you take control, baby. See ya. Pathetic. <laughs> Yeah.